Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. I am here for a brand new chunk build on my Stranger Things world. Now it's been a long long time since building another chunk scene. Uh, I think my last one was actually way back, probably around 2020 I want to say. Could have even been earlier than that. Um, but it was for the Upside Down. And it was the scene in Season 3 where we saw Billy's car next to the telephone booth and he makes a phone call, or tries to. Um, whereas this one is taking us all the way back to Season 1, Episode 1, The Vanishing of Will Byers. What an awesome episode. What a way to begin this journey we've been on with these tutorials. So yeah, we have ourselves this little scene just built up here. If you haven't checked out the bike tutorial, you will need that one for today. Well, I'll teach you again, but it will be helpful if you know how to build these already, just to save you some time, really. Um, but yeah, we have ourselves the chunk scene just here for basically when the kids find Will's bike down the ravine. Uh, so you can imagine this road is called Mirkwood. This is the Mirkwood Road uh, that the kids refer to as Mirkwood. Of course, it's not called that. I can't remember the real name of it, um, but they refer to it as Mirkwood. Um, so yeah, we have ourselves this kind of slope down here going into the um, the forest and then we have Will's bike turned over down here as if he has been knocked off of it or something like that. And obviously we know he's been knocked off of it because he saw the Demogorgon in the road. So yeah, pretty awesome scene. It's a very, very way, like, like powerful way to start the show and uh, definitely makes you want to continue. And I'm so glad we all have because it is an absolutely awesome show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this small little scene just here. All right then, assassins. So to begin, we're going to take ourselves some polished andesite. That is just going to be for my border. Now, if you guys are wanting to build this forest scene um, as just part of your already built up forest and Mirkwood Road, then please feel free to just, you know, not build the border at all and incorporate it into your own builds. I'm also going to grab myself some mangrove planks and dark oak planks uh, for, again, this border. So like I said, if you don't need them, don't get them. It's all good. We're going to need some grass block for the build, rooted dirt, podzol, grey concrete, this is my road material now, and grey concrete powder. So again, if you guys have a different road material, feel free to swap these out for that specific material you're using. Now then, to firstly start, we're going to obviously take ourselves the border uh, dimension here, and I'm going to go with an 18 by 18 uh, square just here. As you can see, mine is a little bit raised, so what I'm going to do is start off by building myself. I'm going to flip around this way, just making sure to line up my original one, just to keep everything <laughs> less of an OCD nightmare. We're going to take ourselves two stacked mangrove planks here, and then two to the left. I'm going to take polished andesite here. This is just going to be my border here. So if you guys are building your uh, chunk build without the border, it's just going to be an 18 by 18 shape. Or that will be your perimeter, and then you'll build inside of that. So now down here, I'm going to take myself my dark oak for four in total. Then I'll take my uh, mangrove. And again, across all of these, I'm doing my uh, polished andesite as well. Then I'll take myself dark oak down here, and then another two andesite. And then two down here, and now into the floor down here, I'll start to build the rest of my uh, andesite. Let's quickly count this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven now. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then we just need to turn the corner and go 18 this way, counting the corner. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. So now I'll make this into a big square. Apologies about my voice today, guys. I uh, have got a bit of hay fever. It's hay fever season once again. So I, I do love farmers. I appreciate all they do. But I do not like the seeds they sow. <laughs> they don't agree with me. So I'm just going to copy this uh, border now on this side of my uh, cube. Well, it's a, it's a big rectangle, isn't it, really? And then I'll just do just doing a funky pattern, really, around the back here. Nothing like to do with the build at all. Just for my own benefit, just because it looks cool. And then I'm going to end it off in a nuisance way by matching up my uh, mangrove like so. But that's okay. So there we go, we have ourselves our border now, which is perfect. We're now going to go ahead and build within this border for the actual landscaping. So now I'm going to take myself over to the back raid section of my uh, my chunk here. I'm going to firstly take myself two grass blocks in the corner here. 
Now, to be honest, the landscape doesn't need to be exactly the same as mine, guys, because of course we're building nature. So nature is very random, very, you know, unpredictable, does what it wants to do. So you can build however you wish to for this section. But I'm going to stick to my original one as much as possible. Then I'm going to take myself two more dark oak, uh, sorry, um, grey concrete, dark oak, where did I get that from? So grey concrete just here. And then I'll do a third one up here, but this is going to be where the barrier is. I'll build two forward. And I'm trying to build the road to be a little bit like skew with, so it looks very run down, not very well kept at all. Maybe it's not really a main road. We'll take ourselves the grey concrete powder in here. And then I'm going to do another two grey concrete here with one this way. So going back towards the other end of the uh, border here. And then my concrete powder. Concrete. Powder. Concrete. Powder. Concrete. Powder. I'm going to do a grass block now in this one. And then I'm going to take myself my concrete powder again. Concrete. Powder up here. And I will switch this one for a powder. This one for a concrete. And powder up the end like so. So I have one strip kind of across here like so. Looking pretty cool. Now I'm going to try and copy this again. Um, but going into uh, the inner side a little bit. So if I go for starting on this two down here. I'm going to go diagonally up from it over here for the uh, concrete powder. Then I'll do myself concrete kind of encircling that like that on the corner. Then I'll do two lots of concrete powder here. I'll do myself one bit of uh, concrete and then two this way, just up from that. And concrete powder in this gap. Now over this way, we're kind of getting up to the bike so it's a little bit more awkward. But we'll build ourselves concrete powder under here. Concrete, concrete. For these two concrete powder concrete concrete and concrete powder i'm going to jump down diagonally and build concrete powder concrete concrete and go here concrete concrete and then concrete powder concrete powder concrete 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 powder concrete powder and concrete powder in this gap <laughs> and down here as well concrete 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 powder and concrete powder so my road is like this. Now that is not going to be how it will end. Like I'm going to probably cut some more about uh, out on this side over on the left side because I want it to be like I said very very like uneasy. It looks like a very strange looking road and like I said not very well kept. So that's important to make it look as uh, you know run down as possible. I'm going to take some grass blocks in there and then I'm going to take myself my, my rooted dirt for these two up here. And then I'm going to take myself maybe three lots on my grass here, even four lots. Rooted dirt up here. We'll do ourselves grass here. Rooted dirt again. Three more grass. Then I'll do a rooted dirt here and here, and then grass in the corner. So we've got that little side of the uh, road there all done. Up this end, I'm going to do myself three lots of dirt for now, just like so. And then dropping down this end, I'm going to start to do a little bit more of a hill design. So we really start to slope down into this uh, this forested area, which looks really cool. Under here, I'm just going to sort this out just to close that up. So we have a nice sheer front to, uh, to work upon. Okay then. Now definitely stay tuned. This can get a little bit skew with and funky, but it's going to be fun. All right then. What we'll do is build with our grass firstly, and then we'll replace certain blocks with our root dirt and our pods all. It's probably easy to build with grass first and then come back afterwards to do some detailing. So let's go ahead and stick ourselves two grass blocks in here and then down here we'll build up to this grass block here. Then I'm going to go from back here and build one block forward from the position before it and again just like so. Then I'll come in a block for two like this and then on the next one I'm going to come out a block just here again and then do this for about three, like so. I'm actually going to do this for a few more than three. I'm going to do it for about five. So just another two more, like that. Then I'll go back in a block. Then I'll come out a block again. Then I'll come out another block over this way. Or oh, actually, no, I won't. I'll keep it. I'll keep it like this, and then we'll add um, probably an azalea, which will be up to the same height as the grass over here. So it'll look like a, a trees in there instead. And then we'll build another one of these and another one of these. So we have four, one gap, 
five, two gap, two, and a one block gap. And up this end, I'll just build to the border now just here. So we have this, it looks very basic, I know, but it will start to be uh, looking pretty detailed in a moment. So going back to the start position, obviously we have these two down here in this little like ditch. We're gonna build two blocks next to it and then build one block forward. Then we'll do two blocks and two again. Then another two with one forward and then one, two blocks here and one here. Then over this way, I'm gonna build myself one, two, three, and yeah, three blocks will do it actually. Then one, two, three, four blocks. And I'm gonna do four again, four again. So you can see in the middle of the five, I now have three lots of four. One, two, three just here. One, two, three. And I'm gonna do three right to the end now. Just up here like so. Now over in this gap over this way, I'm gonna build myself one, two, three on the uh, far left side. I'm gonna go up one block and cut out this block in the middle here, like so. Then I'm gonna cut out this block just here and this one just here. So that'll leave me with a gap of two where the five is. That looks really good. This level is looking, yeah, that looks perfect actually. Awesome. So at the highest level now, we'll go back to our starting position up this direction. We wanna add in ourselves one block of grass just up here, like so. Yeah. I'm gonna cut into the uh, concrete powder up here for these two, and this one, and this one, like that. So that's now four blocks. Then I'll build one, two, three, four blocks just here, coming out from that position, and then build three in here to match to the fourth one over this end. Looking good. Yeah, that looks awesome. It kind of looks like it's consuming the road a bit, which is really cool. We'll leave a one block gap here and build one, two, oops, sorry, two to the left, that is. Three, four, uh, we'll go five, why not? And then up this way, we'll do ourselves one, two, one, mm, yeah, one would, mm, nah, we'll, we'll do another one just to its right. One forward here and one up the back just there. So yeah, I just noticed guys, there was a little bit of an error with my border, but as the border doesn't really affect the way this build is supposed to look at all, because we're not focused on the border at all, obviously we're, sp we're supposed to be focused on the, the innards of the border. Um, I just went ahead and corrected it off camera, but um, yeah, you don't need to worry about it. I literally just went uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks here with my andesite, two down and one, not two and then two, uh, as I did before. So there wasn't a major mistake, like I said, we still got the same layering and same um, elevation here for the top gradient of this build. But um, yeah, if you want to go ahead and build it exactly like mine, feel free to correct that up. But honestly, it's not a big deal at all. That is a very, very minor section. So yeah, that looks really, really cool. Now what I'm going to do up this way is just adding myself another grass block here. And then down this way, I'm just going to double check this, but I think we'll leave it just off the end there. We do, we do indeed. So this is looking really good. So now we're ready to actually go ahead and texture this. Now what I'm gonna do is not do this exactly the same as my original one, because as we just said, it's nature. It's supposed to be very, very peculiar and look like nature is taking over this, this part of the road um, by itself, not my, not my building. So I'm just literally gonna place myself Podzel and my uh, rooted dirt here, just in absolutely random chaotic spots. So obviously we wanna match this up with the grass. We don't wanna add these in, you know, in spots we haven't got grass because that would look a bit strange but i'm just going to do a few dotted around like that like that actually looks really good there's not too much but there's just enough and i'm also going to do it on the ground here so the forest kind of floor uh down here as well now again i don't want to do too much but i do want to kind of bunch up maybe two at a time maybe even three at a time just like this bear in mind there'll be a lot of grass down here there'll also be quite a lot of trees down here so we can just do a few bits and pieces around and then we'll take our pods all and we'll again dot this even smaller amounts around our chunk here. So this one doesn't need to be as populated as our um, rooted dirt because it doesn't need to be seen as much. Also, it's a very, very dark color. So if we have too much of this, it will look a little bit strange. Maybe start to look a bit like the upside down. And of course, that's not what we're going for here. So this looks good. I'll just do another bit down there like so. Yeah, that looks good. 
It looks, well, it looks strange at the moment, but <laughs> when we add some foliage in, it won't look too bad at all. That's brilliant stuff. Okay, we're now ready to get ourselves some new materials. So we'll now go ahead and get ourselves this police cordon built up, and then of course the telegraph pole as well. So we'll take ourselves some white and some red carpet, some string, some polished dorite slabs, some spruce fences, a brown candle, and a cobweb as well. Not just a singular one, of course we want this to be the uh, wiring from the telegraph pole, so we'll have this go right the way along. Okay, so first things first, let's get ourselves the cordon up so no one is going to trespass on this potential crime scene. We'll take ourselves the polished dorite slabs, and we want them to be a slab away from each other, just like a um, uh, like a little white fence, po fence post just here. Um, but of course, we don't have access to any white fences in Minecraft, not even quartz ones. We have dorite wall, but I felt it didn't really do the job. It's supposed to be looking like a little bit taller than the wall, and also a bit skinnier, so I went with slabs just because I thought that would do the trick. And yeah, it seems to work okay. I'm going to come in from this end, and I'm going to go start on this one, just here. So I'm still in line with the road, remember? Even though we have bits of uh, podzool and rooted dirt on the road here, it's still the road. So we'll come in three blocks from the road, and on the fourth one, we'll build ourselves another one of these posts. And then we'll go ourselves five blocks from this one. One, two, three, four, five. And on six, we'll do another one of these, just over here on the side. Wonderful. Now we'll take ourselves string, just from one end to the other, like so. And we'll take ourselves some white carpet first and alternate these. Then we'll start with white carpet here. As you can imagine, this will be the red one. I want to build to the other side. So over here, white again, just like so. Perfect. Now if you do think you're, you know, your detailing is not going to be looking very good, uh, once all the detailing is done and you feel like the string is just going to be off-putting you can feel free to swap that out for some moss carpet because I feel like it does the job really really well um, at hiding an element that needs to hold up the carpet but also makes it look like the environment so you can probably see over here I've used some moss carpet occasionally I've also used some ferns and grass um, to hold up my my sort of fence over here um, so I feel that looks really really cool to you know be able to incorporate into the environment here We'll take ourselves a spruce fence now. We'll go in line with the red carpet on the first three. And we'll take it just here. And we want to go up to about seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm also going to go up two more. Eight, nine, and then maybe on ten, I'll start to build up here. I'm going to go out the back and out the front. So across the road and across the forest. I'll stick a single white, uh, not white candle, brown candle on both of the actual posts where the cabling will come from. Then I'll take three cobwebs from the candles, going across my chunk build, not out the other way. Although if you are building the rest of your forest and everything, feel free to continue this up, like backwards and forwards. I'm going to build myself down, just diagonally, so I'm having to place one to remove it. To build five of my cobwebs, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to come down diagonally again for another three. And I'm going to go up diagonally. Oh, sorry, no, down diagonally another two. I know that went a little bit weird, that one. And then up diagonally for two. So it looks like the cable is kind of sagging a little bit in the middle. But you can imagine that this may be going back up this side. So we're sort of doing this design here to really emphasize that fact. And I'm also, what I'm going to do is add a few on this side as well. Now, I know we haven't got those on my original one. But if we have the dimensions of the chunk build being exactly the same, I'm going to trim these ones now, uh, like that. Then, of course, I want to keep it all the same, you know, flowing nicely. That looks like a little blunder on my part over this way. Like, not, you know, naughty wheel. Should have should have probably sorted that out. But there we go. <laughs> there we are. All right. We're now going to get ourselves the materials for the bikes and get those built, as obviously that is going to make the scene. And then we'll build the rest of our detailing, especially our foliage. Okay, then. So to build some bikes, we'll take ourselves a block of redstone, a piston, with the skeleton skulls, armor stands, a dark oak fence gate, a spruce fence gate, our grey concrete or whatever road material you're using, spruce slabs, and a nether brick slab as well. Okay, first things first, we want to go ahead and place our bikes in the correct position. I'm going to come to my second part of my cordon, just here. I'm going to go to the red of it, just here on the uh, left. 
dropping down into this block just here. This is actually concrete powder, so I'm going to take myself concrete powder instead of my uh, concrete. I'm going to knock out these two and these three blocks just here, like so. Uh, I may as well knock out the four entry as well, that will do. So I'm going to stick myself my concrete powder just in here. I'm going to stick it in the armor stand this way around, so it's facing towards my original chunk build. And we get it to put its hands forward like it's about to hold something. I'll stick myself a block of redstone in the furthest back position and a piston here to push it forward into the armor stand there. Now I'll just replace my road real quick, like so. And then I'll take myself an armor stand facing... Ooh, this is going to be about two blocks away. One, two. So on the third one up here, we'll stick ourselves an armor stand at a diagonal angle like that with its arms outwards. Now I'm actually going to do this a little bit less of a diagonal if there's a middle one there might not be you know i might just be fibbing thinking there is if we just have it with its arms outwards like so so it looks like the handlebars are coming forward and that's perfect we'll do our next one so the back wheel of the next bike is here there's going to be two blocks uh, one block sorry and then this one just here and we'll again have this one with the handlebars coming out like so and then over this way, just next to where we have the uh, one in the ground, we'll come over to the back section over this way. And we'll do another one over this way with the hands out just up here at a diagonal again. Just checking that's in the right position there. So we have these in here like so. I know it looks a bit weird, but if you imagine this is going to be Mike's bike. This one is going to be Lucas's bike, and this one is going to be Dustin's just here. So for the wheels here, you can take yourself the Wither Skeleton Skulls. I'm going to do them both facing forward. I'll actually do them all facing forward, so the actual face on them is facing towards my original build. I'll do this wheel a bit of an angle, just here. Make sure to place it on the block and not the Wither Skeleton Skulls hands. Over here I'll put this wheel... Uh, actually, I don't think this one has a wheel, but I may be able to place one still. I can. That's cool. So I'm going to stick one here. Try and get it as straight as possible. There we go. And then this one obviously needs to be at a corner to match the handlebars. Ooh. That wasn't very good. Try and get that one in again. Like that. And then there we go. Like so. And then this one obviously facing forward. And then Mike's back wheel will just be here, one block away, like that, perfect. Now this bike in, in the middle here is not actually supposed to be that long, um, but what we do is, as you can see, I've actually placed the wheel kind of at the front of it. Um, so I did have a wheel on this one, but it's kind of at the front just up here. You saw nothing. <laughs> there we go. So that is all in there like so. We have the three bikes lined up just in here. Uh, that's the position I gave them, but if you want to spread them out a little bit further, you know, you can please feel free to do that as well. I think that looks good. As long as you have yourself a wheel basis of around three blocks, like so, with one block between them. This armor stand back here is just for a bit of extra detail, really. It doesn't really do much other than that. Um, I'm going to take myself a sprue slab just above the back wheel here, like so. And on this back wheel over here, I'll take myself a nether brick slab, just there. I'll also take myself a dark oak fence gate here. I'm going to do another one up at the front here. And then what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'll take another one here as well. So that's three. Uh, actually, I'll swatch, switch this one for a spruce in there. And then up this way, I need to place myself armor stands in... Uh, sorry, fence gates in the armor stands. I made that mistake when I was uh, doing the bike tutorial as well. <laughs> that word mistake. So if we go ahead and double stack these, this one needs to be a dark oak just here oops managed to change the direction of the armor stand back there always a pain to work with aren't they they never do what you want they've got a mind of their own <laughs> oh this one needs to be the spruce to match the spruce and this one back to dark oak up this way so just there like so now you guys know the drill of this one you're going to have to push them into where they need to be again so just like that will be fine and then open it up 
and it should hopefully push the armor stand a little bit forward for you if you've got the um, fence gate closed, which kind of shunts it into the wheel a little bit further and makes it look even better. So that is quite helpful for you. So there we go. Look, it actually looks like part of the bike, which is really good. So it makes it a little bit easier for us. So there we are. Once you have that done, that is the troublesome part out of the way. And it is very troublesome. Definitely. It's never fun to work with them. Now down here in the valley area, we're going to use ourselves the Wither Skeleton Skulls as we still have them on us. So we'll take ourselves down to where we have the uh, rooted dirt in the middle here at the 5. I'm going to go to the right of it just here. And down here I'm going to go 1, 2 and on the third one I'm going to flip a wheel going this way. So diagonally back up that way. And I'll do one this way just to block over the other rooted dirt. So like that, block away. And there we go, that's ready for Will's bikes to be on its side down there in the uh, sort of valley area. Perfect. Alright, we'll get ourselves some new materials. So we'll next take ourselves some black carpet, a lantern, item frames, this brown banner with this green pattern on. It is for the flag on Lucas's bike. I did build this with you on the bike tutorial, but if you guys haven't seen that video, it is literally just a brown banner here with a green gradient, a lime bend, uh, sorry, lime per bend sinister, a green border indented, a brown border indented, and that is done. You don't have to worry about the other green. I don't know why I did that one, but there you go. We have ourselves a soul lantern, an iron trap door, a cherry sign, a spruce sign, and an oak fence gate. Okay, so we'll stick ourselves the black carpet over here on the bike back here. We'll do one at the front bike up here. So this is probably uh, Mike's bike up here. We'll do ourselves, oh actually this is Lucas's bike up the front. We'll do ourselves a iron trap door back here. We'll do an item frame on the side of this, just here. So shift or crouch click to place it on the side. With the banner in here, just at a diagonal angle, like a flag. We'll do the cherry sign at the back here. So again, shift or crouch click for that one. We'll do our spruce sign on this one over here. That looks awesome. We'll take ourselves the uh, item frames up the front of our trap doors. Fence gates is what I meant. <laughs> you want to shut all of these fence gates firstly to be able to shift or crouch click item frames on the front of each of them and then just open them back up. Like that. You can take yourself a normal lantern in the bikes at the side. So we'll go with this bike just here and the other bike up here. Oh no, not this one. This one. And then we'll do a soul lantern up on this one. Sorry, they're all a little bit confusing. Sometimes I do get a bit in a twist. But there we go. That seems to be all good. So yeah, that looks awesome. So we have ourselves... The bike's almost done. We just need a few more materials. And we'll take ourselves the oak fence gate down here. In the valley. Just down here in front of that uh, sort of turned wheel. For an item frame just here. With a normal lantern on its side that way. And then we'll also do ourselves an item frame on here, but it's going to be on a slab. So if you guys want to just swap out one of your materials for a dark oak slab, then feel free. So then you can take your item frame here without having to re-grab that one afterwards. There we go. Now let's get ourselves some new materials. So to conclude these bikes to allow us to move on, we'll just take ourselves some brown carpet, an iron helmet, a chain helmet, some black wool, and a dark oak trap door. Let's take ourselves our brown carpet over here on this bike. We'll do ourselves an iron helmet on the side two bikes, one here, one here, and the chain up the front here for Lucas's. Our black wheel will go in this item frame down here, and then our trap door will be folded against this wheel, just like so. So it looks like it is a fallen over bike on its side. And if we open up this uh, item frame that direction as well, it looks even more like a bike just down there in the valley. That looks awesome. Now time for some foliage. All right then assassins, so for this last pretty important part of the build, we're gonna need to obviously give our forest some actual life, some actual trees and grass and dirt and things. We'll take ourselves some spruce leaves, some double tall grass, a fern, grass, moss carpet, azalea, oak wood, spruce stairs, and spruce slabs as well. Now we'll start up here on the road. We'll firstly start by going with our double tall grass up here for one, a space away another one, 
a fern just here. Maybe normal grass up there. Two normal grass here. Fern. Double tall grass. Grass. A spruce leaf just here. Ooh, double tall grass. Uh, a fern just here. Grass. Fern. I'm going to do myself my two spruce leaves and then grass just up here. Now, like I said about the uh, cordon, you can swap out some of the string for your moss carpet, say. So if you want to do that, feel free. But uh, of course, don't forget to uh, go ahead and replace some afterwards as well. And don't be shy to place any of your moss carpet on the road too. Like that looks really cool. It just adds a bit more detail and, and effect to the thing. So don't add it maybe in the middle of the road, but do add it on the sides. It definitely adds a bit more detail. That looks pretty cool. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick block back my uh, cordon and then my moss carpet and now I'm ready con to continue. So going down here into the valley, what I'm going to do is stick myself a azalea just here. And in the bottom corner down here, I'm going to stick another one just, just here, like that. Then I'll take myself my leaves next and I'll do one here and here. One down here, one down here, and then up here, I'm going to do myself another two. Then I'll do a couple next to the bike. Well, not, not directly next to the bike, but a few just down here. And then one, two just here. Maybe maybe one up just here. One in the gap down here. Two in the gap down here. And encircling this like so. I'll take another one just up here. And then I'm going to take myself my double tall grass. And I'm going to stick this probably closer to the road. As this obviously has a chance more to grow with the um, the higher the higher the uh, ground gets and then I'll do my ferns again on this sort of raised a bit raised a bit <laughs> more raised part you know just up here like this don't forget the little gaps as well and then I'll take my grass to try and do a little bit more of the rest we're not adding in any flowers around here because we're trying to make it look as overgrown and kind of depressing as possible really like although there's a lot of greenery obviously obviously this scene is in the in the uh, the dark and it's really really raining because it's the first scene they find 11 as well so it's a very very key scene to be looking miserable and then 11 is kind of the light that comes out of the darkness sort of thing so it has like a very very deep meaning so we're trying to really make it look you know like a scary scene kind of thing awesome now down here, I'm going to start to build my trees. Now I am going to be a little bit different here than my original one. Um, I've already started to be a little bit more different, a bit more free with this build. And it's really good to sort of express it in a different way. But that's the beauty about scenes like this, is because we're building a lot of nature, you can build this in whichever way you want to build. All right, down here, I'm going to go with three blocks in from the corner. So I'm going to start on number three. I'm going to build myself three logs up. And then on the fourth one, up here now, I want to come forward towards the road. And then I'm going to go up again another four. One, two, three. So that's now four. Like that. I'm also going to go up to the... Well, actually, I'll go to this one. And come out the side again. And then build one, two, three, four blocks. Just up here as well. Like that. On top of the one I already built. So that's now five. So that's one of my stumps down. I'm going to go to the back. Up here on my rooted dirt. I'm going to build myself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 blocks high. Like that. <laughs> Just going a bit to town, really. Then I'm going to build diagonally to its right. So just before the uh, the bike. I'm going to build maybe up to about 10. Uh, how far is that? Not quite there. There we go. Like so. Just 10. Like so. Up this way, I want to do a bigger tree. I'm going to do two bigger trees, actually. So I'm going to build next to my um, spruce leaves here. I'm just going to build two up to my telegraph pole's highest height. So I'm going to sw sweep around this way to build up to there. Brilliant. And now down here, I want to go to the back and also build like a cluster of four. So that's just kind of one and then diagonally up. To build my other tree here. I'm not going to go as tall as the previous one. But I'm just going to go a little bit. 
maybe even to this one, so to about 10 on this lowest point just here, like that, or maybe an 11. <laughs> no pun intended, but just to be a bit more different there. Now, all these trees, of course, are normal trees. They're just natural, so they're going to be very, very different anyways. But to give them a little bit more detail and texture rather than just random bits of oak looking like they've been placed naturally, you can just swap out some of the blocks for stairs and slabs with uh, spruce. And that really helps it to stand out, making it look a bit more like a realistic tree. So um, this is a pretty cool bit of texturing we can do here, making everything look even cooler. I recommend this one because it's going to be seen from the front. Maybe do the stairs at the side rather than the backs to the, uh, the front. And for the single trees, maybe use more stairs than you would on the other ones. Um, and then the, the sort of fatter trees, the thicker ones, use yourself a lot of slabs. So there we go. Maybe around this side we'll do some more detailing. Yeah, just look, look at that. Look how much deep, more detail is in those trees. Looks awesome. And then the best thing to do about these is we don't need to do any specific method with building our leaves. We literally just want to go crazy. And that is what I did here. I went crazy and it pretty much turned out cool. I've just shaved them at the back around the sides as well, uh, just to keep them within the square boundaries. But like I said, guys, if you want to make this as realistic as possible, do go to town. I have a squeaky trigger, by the way. You may be able to hear that in the video. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and surround our logs firstly. And this builds us a lovely canvas to actually build outwards with our leaves. Now you can start very like much at the top or very much at the bottom. There's all different types of trees in this forest as you can imagine. So I'm just going to go ahead and build whatever comes to mind really. So even if I've knocked a, a block through there by accident, I'll just pretend it was like it was supposed to happen and continue. I find this part kind of therapeutic because you can just be as creative as you want to be or even as lazy as you want to be because if you're being lazy you can be like oh yeah it's actually winter so there's not any leaves on the trees when we all know the truth but I won't say anything if you don't <laughs> so if we do this sort of thing make sure that every single log is covered by at least a block like that oh like that then the beauty of this start to build out so start to literally build out like this on one side and then again and then another time maybe this time would we'll go a little bit further out building some blocks here and there randomly and you should be able to see it's starting to really take the shape of a tree especially in certain areas now the only trick is don't have too many square areas built up because if you have too many squares it does still look like minecraft and we're trying to make this look obviously very very natural so keep yourself natural keep everything looking cool and yeah this is starting to look pretty awesome to be honest well it might it might not be it might be looking absolutely terrible <laughs> but um, i'm thinking it's looking pretty cool so far make sure the forest is very very um filled up with your foliage you don't want to have anything looking too dense in any particular corner of it if it looks too dense then it doesn't look like a very very scary wood does it and obviously we're trying to build like a very menacing and troubled wood so that when dustin is afraid to actually venture into the woods to look for will it is for good reason so this looks pretty good i might just go ahead and add some branches out of my bigger tree up here so just by adding in a couple log blocks you know in random spots like that just to then go ahead and do the process again by adding in one layer of my leaves gosh i really must get some uh, wd-40 on my controller <laughs> it's sounding like an old person <laughs> i i mean no disrespect <laughs> squeaking like hell right if we do this look you can start to see it's it's really taking a bit more of um, a shape now rather than just being you know, nothing up this end. We don't like that. We, we don't want anything to be missing anything. So we'll just build like that. Yeah, look at that. See, it's added a, a bit more of um, 
an area up there for us. And you can also, when you build all the trees and you're happy with them all, which I'll do these two in a minute, I'm also gonna go ahead and add some leaves between them to really bridge across. Not to make it look like there's another tree in there, but just enough like this. So you can see the little bit of light through the trees, but it's still looking like it's a very heavy forest. So yeah, let's get this done now, guys, and then we can pretty much call it a day. So this is all I've done just here, guys. As you can see, I've gone a bit crazy with those trees, maybe sorted out a little bit of this one, and then just bridged between the two with some very, very dense leaves. So maybe just like one or two layers of the leaves like that, but spaced back a little bit so you can still get the light through each of them. And that's it. And then all that's left to do is, of course, add in your ferns and your grass down here. You can add some double tall grass if you wish to, but I recommend just the normal grass just to make the bike look like it's the only thing sticking out of the grass down here. But don't, you know, don't be shy with the grass. Do go a bit crazy. Place as much as you wish to. And then even add in some moss carpet around as well just to give a bit more texture to the ground. Make it look less uh, unnatural. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with this so far. That looks really cool. Hell yeah. And then the other thing I did with my original one is I just went ahead and added in some of these um, oak leaves with the moss on top. Uh, just to again add a bit more detail as if there was like other trees in here, other hedges, bushes, whatever you want. Uh, just lingering around. So it doesn't have to be a detail you add in, but just to add a bit more life down there, feel free. And then once you go ahead, clear your inventory, set your weather to the night time, set your, sorry, set your, set your time to night time, set your weather to rain. It does actually look like this Stranger Things scene, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> and if you wanted to go ahead and swap out your item frames for glow item frames, really giving the bikes a glowing look, then be my guest. That would be awesome. And that's it. Well then, Assassins, thank you so much for joining me for another Stranger Things tutorial. If you guys have enjoyed this one, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be very much appreciated and definitely helps this channel out very, very much. If you also want to stick around for future Stranger Things tutorials or even previous ones, I have absolutely tons on my channel. As you can see, I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. So um, if you are also a Stranger Things fan and you play Minecraft, you may enjoy some of my other videos too. So definitely stay tuned by joining the Assassin of today for free by subscribing. And if you want to check me out on social medias, I've just started posting a lot more over on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. So if you want to go ahead and check those out, there'll be links below. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Have an excellent rest of your day. Do take care. And uh, definitely don't get lost or eaten by a demogorgon. That is not great. Not going to lie. Um, <laughs> but yes, please stay safe. And I will see you very shortly for another Wheel Assassin Guide. Goodbye for now.